What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and welcome back to our last day of our lens test on the Schneider Xenon Full Frame Primes. This is the 100 millimeter and the most telephoto lens that they have in the lineup. We're gonna be running it through four different tests, first starting off with flaring, then breathing, bokeh, and lastly, edge distortion and sharpness. If you wanna jump ahead to any of these tests specifically, they will be time coded in the description below. The camera we're using is the Ari Amira and all of our settings will be in the description as well if you wanna check those out. Now let's get right into this first lens test, checking out the flaring on the Xenon 100 millimeter. So for the flaring test, what we're gonna do is we have a light and then we're just gonna pan and tilt around with the light inside the frame and then we'll put it outside the frame so you can see the differences. Going back to what we saw with the 50 millimeter, we're seeing some of that teal color come in. It's pretty crazy the inconsistencies between all of these lenses, even though they are a full set. The color and contrast and all of that is very similar, but the flares are totally different between these lenses. Now, like I said, we're just gonna go with the light outside the frame. Not really seeing a lot of flares at all. There's a little bit of blooming coming from the light and then occasionally you'll get a hint here or there of a flare and some contrast areas. But overall, with the light outside the frame on this 100 millimeter, you're not really seeing any flares at all. Next up, we're gonna look at the breathing test. We're just racking focus from close focus all the way to infinity. And again, I can't say it enough, this lens does a fantastic job at controlling that breathing from the 25 millimeter, 35, 50, 75, 100, they all do a great job at controlling breathing. So if that's a concern of yours, these lenses definitely solve that problem. Next up, we're gonna take a look at edge distortion and sharpness going from side to side with my face in the center and then onto the edges. 100 millimeters, you're not really gonna see any distortion, so that looks really good. And again, sharpness is staying locked. We're not having a shifting either forward or back when we go to those edges. Just like I said in the last one, these lenses are designed for full frame cameras. So if you're on a larger sensor, we might start to see a little bit of that. But on the Super 35 size sensor, you're gonna have no problems. And then to wrap this up, we're gonna look at bokeh. We have our chart set up 10 feet away, and we're just going through the aperture range from closed down all the way opened up to a T2.1 and it looks super solid. You do start to get a little bit of points on it when you're wide open, but if you close down even a third of a stop, you're getting really circular bokeh, really consistent color across the whole thing. You're not getting those dark centers with the highlight edges like we were seeing with the wider focal lengths. They look really good and very similar to the 75 that we just looked at. And that's gonna do it for the Schneider Xenon 100 millimeter full frame prime. If you guys wanna try out this lens or learn more information about it, make sure to head on over to lensprotogo.com. And if you wanna see more lens tests and series like this, make sure to give it a like, let me know you enjoy this content. Also subscribe for new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one.